Only qualified personnel should install Napoleon appliances and accessories. See product manual for details. This is part one of a two-part series, providing an overview of the installation steps for Napoleon's Ascent Linear Premium Gas Fireplace. This video will demonstrate how to use the product manual to properly plan for the installation of the Ascent Linear Premium BLP, fireplace, rough frame the enclosure and appliance base, vent the fireplace and install the fire stop, install the vent shield, and connect the universal heat management system to the BLP. For safe and proper operation of the appliance, refer to the venting requirements section of the manual to ensure your vent run application will fall within acceptable parameters. For optimum flame appearance and appliance performance, keep the vent length and number of elbows to a minimum. In order to avoid the possibility of exposed insulation or vapor barrier coming in contact with the appliance body, it is recommended that the walls of the appliance enclosure be finished as you would finish any other outside wall of a home. Ensure interior and exterior enclosure clearances are always maintained. Minimum enclosure requirements are outlined within the manual and will vary depending on your installation. Here are the dimensions required for a flush installation containing the BLP56. The minimum height for the fire stop placement is 48 inches from the bottom of the appliance to the center of the venting. However, it is a best practice to maximize the vertical rise wherever possible for optimum flame appearance. Adhere to all codes when installing the venting and fire stop. With the help of another person, carefully lift and place the appliance on the base. Slide one side of the fireplace out and bend out the nailing tabs. Then use them to secure the appliance in the enclosure. Repeat this step on the opposite side. The vent shield must be installed on the top of the appliance using the two screws provided. The vent intake collar and gap between the fire stop and intake pipe must be sealed using RTV. The vent exhaust collar must be sealed with mill pack. If required, adjust the vent shield top to suit the horizontal run. If the venting exceeds the top of the vent shield, the shield will not need to be bent horizontally. Next, we will prepare the appliance for the universal heat management system. The knockouts for this are located on either side of the appliance vent. Remove the knockouts on both sides using a pry bar. The opening will be filled with insulation with a cover plate below. Both must be removed and discarded. Repeat this for the opposite side. Next, locate the four holes used to secure the UHM collars to the top of the appliance. Secure it using four screws. Depending on your UHM orientation, the framing will need to be constructed to fit the vent boots. This is a side discharge installation with horizontal vent boots. The vent boots must be secured to the framing, no higher than 3 inches from the top of the enclosure. Lastly, connect the ducting to the vent boot and the collar on the appliance. Repeat this for the opposite side to complete the UHM installation. Gas and electrical services must be coordinated at this time. The next video in this series will cover the remaining steps, finalizing the installation of the BLP56. See the video description for manual and appliance part numbers. Click here to view the Wolf Steel Technical YouTube page. Like and subscribe to our channel to get notifications for new product and troubleshooting videos.